Amen. Come out. Come out. God bless you. Ah, wonderful. Your hands together. Your hands together. Power night. Power night. Power night. Come. This way. This way. Check up yourself also. Glory. Check up. Check up. Check up. The Lord has remembered us. Remember Calabar, Cross River State. And part the whole wall also. Come. Check up. 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 Signs and wonders for the needy. It is practical. Just believe. You don't need money. You will take offering, offering here. Or, or any money. From your hand here. No, no. Free. 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 Get set now. Praise the Lord. Cripple, rise up. Stroke, rise up. Tomorrow, bring them. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, come on time by 3 p.m. Receive signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Amen. Are you set now? I brought the charge. Number one now. Number one. That meant that too many give us concrete, tangible, visible ones now. Others may give the our fellowship. Camera capture that that test testify now. Camera. God bless you. Still examine yourself and come out. The power is still flowing. Those outside also. Go ahead now. Praise the Lord. My name is Francisca Ali. I am from Obudu region. I came to village to in 2015. So I came and visited my mother. So I wanted to go back to Abuja. I even arranged for a cyclist that will come and pick me to the town so that I would enter moto to Abuja. So suddenly I woke up in the morning and the cyclist came. He was waiting for me outside. So I was trying to come out and meet the cyclist. I could not wake up, I could not stand up for my bed. That is how my body started shaking. If I want to move a step, I will feel like I want to fall down. So since then, I'm being in this problem for six years now. I'm being paralyzed. I'm, I cannot move without using crosses. Mm. I always use crosses to support myself because before I move. So I thank God as I come to this uh, uh, process today. Lord, God see me through. I thank God for the miracle Amen. the Lord has done for in my life. And he will do it in every soul in this place in Jesus' name. Amen. And nobody who could have come here will go back the same in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Come on. In Jesus' name. Hold it, hold it, hold it. See her walking. 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 Put her hands together. Nurse, nurse. Check up, check up. Nurse. Microphone. Look to that guy. Amen. 
Amen. Okay, it's a preach. Praise the Lord. Uh, the sister testified. Her name is Mary Ndubisi from Igbo Church, Calabar. So he said, for the past 10 years, she has been suffering from this leg, but as the pastor prayed this night, he regained her freedom, and she can be able to walk now. Praise the Lord! Amen! How many years? How many years? How long? 10 years! 10 years! Praise the Lord! Next. Microphone. Praise the Lord. My name is Mondo Wobodo. I have stroke since 2015. I cannot move without this of stick. But after, after the event of God player, so I'll be able to move now without this music. Amen. Seven years. Seven years stroke. Let him walk. Let him walk. Let, let him walk. Let him walk quickly. Praise the Lord for seven years. Seven years. Amen. Next. Don't go away. Please. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. I am by name. Christopher Omini Ina. I am I come from Nko. I am serving, worshiping with Deeper Life Bible Church Nko unit or district. For the past four years, I went out for life survival, but I had an accident. I can see somebody from afar. Even as somebody is talking, I will be asking, eh, eh, eh. I think has been a problem to me. I do pray to God. But today, as God will make it, I wrote everything without this lens. Mm. And I can see somebody from afar read everything Amen. every day. Amen. Today, God has made me whole. I pray the same God that helped me shall help you the same. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. My name is Isaac Marvelous Elo. I'm from Obubra region, Yamitel Group. My testimony goes like this. It was three weeks back. I was having boil on my breast, on my right breast, and it was hard. I never knew it was boil. I started taking all kinds of drugs, but to no avail. And my grandma said I should stop taking drugs. And she started using native herbs. And one day, the team found pus. And she used blade and operated it. And when I was, they told me Jesus is coming, I said I will follow my sister and come. And on that day, I was preparing. And water was rushing out of my breast. I was saying, how will I put on my clothes? And even when I came without faith, when I came reaching here, the water soaked the whole of my clothes. And I was praying. When I saw that old woman while she was healed, rolling her crutches and her wheelbarrow, I said, God, I must have my own healing. And that was how even the faith I got, that was how the water just dried off immediately. Instantaneously, Amen. I got my healing. Praise the Amen. Lord. Put the hands together. the Lord. Praise Rest. the Lord. I, my name is Ophemenjua George. I'm from, um, my church is Watchman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement. It, in it come. I've been having glaucoma since birth. And I need to strain my eyes to look at something to see it clearly. If I don't, if I force myself to look at it normally, 
tears begin to rush down my eyes and I'll have to strain my eyes. But now I don't I can't strain my eyes again. Straining my eyes is even now is even a problem. So praise the Lord. That's my testimony. That is gone already. You're free. You're free. Next, praise the Lord. I'm Ferdinand of the Deeper Life Bible Church, Calabar region. It was last night when I got back home. I lay down to sleep after a short prayer. And immediately I started observing a very severe chest pain and headache. And I also coughing out blood in a way. So throughout the night I couldn't sleep. I was praying, I was telling God, I just came back from the Science and Wonders to sit. So that was how I managed throughout the night. This morning, I couldn't wake up. I lay down until it was past 11. So I just managed to come to the program this night. But after the prayer of the man of God, as he just said, in Jesus' name, we pray. As I responded, Amen. He has not started praying yet. I felt a difference. Amen. And the power of God touched me. Amen. And right now, as I'm speaking to you, I don't feel any chest pain anymore. Amen. And no chest pain cough anymore. Amen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a minute. Is there any from social media? From any country? Yes, we Come have on, we have testimonies from the social media. Yeah. Somebody just sent a message in from YouTube. Toby Martin said an instantaneous miracle just happened in my mom's life. As our father in the faith said that I should raise my hand on behalf of my mom. I did. And I confirmed afterward the swelling on her left breast just vanished away. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And this one from Taraba State. Mama Usman Audu from Bailey region in Taraba State. She was invited to the crusade. After the prayers of our father in the faith, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, her blind eyes instantaneously Amen. got open. Amen. She was tested and it blind was confirmed that she can see all the way from Taraba State. We also have testimony coming from Jalingo, still in Taraba, Great Gospel House in Jalingo. A medical doctor has sent in this report. Sister Erika Ezekiel of Great Gospel House, one of the crusade centers, had throat infection for one month now and had been in severe and chronic throat pains. Sometimes she had heaviness in the throat that affected her swelling and her swallowing of food. She took several medications to no avail. But on this day, as the man of God prayed, that throat infection gave way. The pains are all gone. All heaviness Amen. disappeared. Praise the Lord. We now go live to River State. From Rivers, we go to Kanu State. And then we return to Edo State. River State is live now. All right. State. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Sound. Sound. Take another stage. Another stage. 
We now proceed. Okay, okay. They're from Calabar, from, from, from Kosovo. Life, life. Check up that as I come back to you. Yes. yes. Praise, Praise the Lord. The Lord. My, name My name is Sister Winifred Umera of Atekong District, Akim Group, Calabar Region. I want to thank God for what God has done for me. For over 25 years, I've been, I've been having menstrual pains, heavy flow. When the flow comes each day, I will change up to six or seven parts a day. When we were coming for this program today, we were inside the bus, the church bus. I asked them that we should sing choruses to God. When we were singing, I don't know who that man is said, as you are going, believe that from this song, I believe they are hearing me. Believe from this song you get your deliverance. We sang a while. Suddenly, I had a sharp pain. I could not know myself again. I was shivering. I almost fell down. To come down from the bus was a problem. I could not trek. My son left me. I was sitting outside for over 30 minutes. I could not come to the hall. I was sitting outside. The brethren at the bookshop would bear me weakness. I was crying throughout. I was crawling. I wasn't standing straight. But to the glory of God, when my father in the Lord said a final amen, amen, I was lying down. Suddenly a hand tapped me. Amen. I got up. Amen. Every pain has gone. Amen. I say, may the name of the Lord be praised amen. forever and ever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 25 years. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, brother. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Next, next, next. Praise the Lord. My name is Daniel Udafia. I'm from Ikot of Yomambai Group, Campground District, Calabar Region. Praise the Lord. Uh, my testimony is that in the beginning of this year, I begin to feel a growth in, on top of my navel. Whenever I touch, it was so painful, so sharp pain. And when I stretch myself, I discovered very sharp pain. When I use my hand to touch, the thing will be so painful. I will show one of the medical uh, personnel, there is a, a name that he gives. He said that I need to be operated. I said, ah, where will I have the money to go on operation? Yes, to glory be to God. Today, mm. I said today, while the pastor was still preaching, while the pastor was still preaching, the time that they welcome the new converts, as as I just feel it in my hand, I feel it in my hand. It's gone. I press it in. I press it in. It's gone. No pain. No pain. It's the gone. I disappear. I was seated near my wife. Amen. I tell my wife, be a witness. Touch it. Touch it. My wife press it. Press it. Amen. I tell the thing I disappear. It's gone. It's Praise gone. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on. No more pain. Yes. Praise the Lord. My name is Mr. Benson Chilenye Okafo. I'm not a member of this church. I worship at the uh, Cathedral Calabar, 81 Calabar. So I was, I, uh, somebody invited me. I was invited. So as I came, as uh, the man of God was ministering prayers, what I cannot do, I cannot do it like standing this short line. I cannot do it before. I must need a chair to sit down. Mm. 
but now I can stand well. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let him let him walk. 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 Go on. Go on. Go on. Praise the Lord. Hold on, hold on that. Any, any, can we take from social media? From any states or country? It's of time. We have testimonies coming live from Akwaibom State. Akwaibom State. And Edo State. Live. Akwaibom now, live. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Go From Aquibum said, we have three tes testimonies we need to share very fast. This is um, Brother Abraham Edith. And two weeks ago, Brother Abraham Edith had a challenge with the eye. He had swellings in the eyes and she, he could not see. Mm -hmm. And he visited the hospital, had to meet one of our pastors. And prayers was offered at a point that was having... The thing was unveiling partially. But yesterday, he was here. Mm. And after the man of God's prayers, all the blindness, everything vanished Amen. away instantaneously. Amen. Now he sees very well. Amen. Praise the Lord. Fast. This is Sister Nenna Four. She's one of our women leaders, and she knows how to give testimony very fast. I'll allow her to give the testimony directly. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Uh, many years ago, I had an accident where a bike knocked me down. And from then, I have been having pain on my right hand side and I cannot sleep by that side for th more than 10 years ago. But it was during the divine connection that God visited me. Praise the Lord. I was now able to sleep by my right hand side, no longer by my back or the other side. And today also, from the morning hours, I was so stressed and had pains, headache. I could not even do any work. But this night, as I came here this evening, the Lord touched me after the man of God had prayed. And today, this hour, I am free. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, this is Sister Veronica. Sister Veronica Michael woke up this morning with serious pains all over her body, chest pains running down to the abdomen. Serious. In fact, she was crying all through the day. She came to the program this night, and she was praying and crying. But during the prayer of the man of God, immediately after the man of God's prayers, suddenly the chest pain gone. Mm. The abdominal pain gone. Amen. Every pain in the body vanished away. Amen. She is perfectly whole. Praise the Lord. Amen. Calabar. One. Just one Calabar. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is uh, Asukwa Edith William. I'm of Ejeli District. By the grace of God, I am saved. I'm here tonight to testify of what God did for me yesterday. I have a problem since 2013. And what they said medically was uh, prostrate. By this, I used to urinate at least nine or ten times in a day. The worst is during night. I can urinate up to twelve times before day, day, uh, daybreak. And uh, at times, not only they urinating, but any time I have the urge that I should go and urinate, if I, can, if I wait up to about two minutes, I will mess up my trouser. And that used to bring a lot of shame to me. Last Sunday we were here. I left this place with tears because of that experience. The pastor was about to summarize the message, and I had that experience that I should go to a toilet and urinate. Before I could leave the hall, where I was sitting, to rush to the toilet there, I lost control. I could not control myself again. I started urinating, and the thing wet my trouser. And people could see outside, and I was ashamed. And even in the district church, Brethren who watch me will see that in the middle of the message, I will always live to God and ease myself. If not, I will mess up myself. And this was one of the things that will 
always bring shame to me. But when I heard of this crusade, I made up my mind that one thing I would do is I would invite myself to this crusade first. I did not invite any other person. I invited myself. By that I mean, come what may, I must be in this crusade. Some challenges came up, like that of finance. I did not have money. I started meditating. How will I come for this uh, 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 Summarize. So, yesterday, as I was here, because of the preparation, I did not have time to actually eat at home. So when I arrived here, I was hungry. So I planned the supermarket. I bought buns, and I bought two sachets of water. Ordinarily, I would not eat and drink water in the night. But that yesterday, I ate and I drank that two, water, uh, two sachets of water. And I was afraid. I said, oh, if this thing will come up, I will leave the congregation and I will go to urinate. But surprisingly, I said throughout the GS message, I did not Amen. have any symptoms. Amen. Praise the Lord. I would have come out to give this testimony, but I wanted to test. I didn't want to say, let it be against something. I went home. My wife cooked for me. I ate. I drank another uh, one cup of water. To my surprise, I slept yesterday. I urinated ordinarily two times. <laughs> I did not have the symptom. You are free. Today, you are free. Coming, you are free. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's free. Yes. Just, just one more, one more for Calabar, for time tomorrow. Praise the Lord! I am Sister Comfort Gregory. I'm from Castle District, a natural group. I want to thank God for what God has done for me. I've been having severe hand pain for one month plus. The pain has, has been there that it affected my work in the office. Till a woman came to me and told me, sister, this is federal government work. Don't kill yourself. Just tell them that you, are, you have a problem. You can go and relax. I tell her that I have so many things to do. I cannot do it. I will still manage with the hand. Praise the Lord. Yesterday, as I was in the office, I decided to use this hand to sweep my boss office. I used it, I was feeling the pain. I could not move the hands up, I could not keep it down. I used to hold my back in my left hand. I do so many things with the left hand. Yesterday, as I came here, I told God that I would not come here and go back the same. As a man of God prayed, I received my healing. Now I can move the hands up and down, I can even turn it. Pray! Amen. From London. Rise up, rise up, rise up and thank him and worship him. Tomorrow we shall take rest because of coffee. Rise up, rise up, signs and wonders. Tomorrow we